Today's probably a good day to fire up WatchTheJunkies.com on your computer if you haven't done that yet for the holiday drinking show. And we have to give thanks to Courtney West from Chariots for Hire. Yep. Go to ChariotsForHire.com. They're providing the transportation to and from for us. So we are not a menace out on the roads Honestly, today. Honestly, we have a long-standing relationship with Courtney. We do. The Chariots for Hire. Yep. I mean, it has got to be six, seven, eight years He's with been those very guys. helpful to us yeah, over the longer. years. So I got to tell you, I didn't pay attention to the game last night. Mm-hmm. Your life is better for it, by the way. You're talking about the NFL game. Yes. Yeah. I think I've heard of the quarterback who finished the game for the Cardinals, but barely. Ryan Lindley played at San Diego State. Barely heard of him. Good I've heard of him, but if he walked in here with his Ryan Lindley jersey on, I would struggle to identify him. Right. It would be tough. Now, but, this and is... Stanton tore his ACL, or initial reports are it's a torn ACL, so he's not coming back. They're going to the make Cardinals the playoffs. Season, they're going to make the playoffs, but the Cardinals season is over. They're eleven and three, yep. and they're down to a guy that ninety nine point nine percent of football fans haven't heard of. Talk yep. about the worst luck ever. It's pretty rough to have your top two guys go down. Is Logan injuries. Thomas still on the roster? I thought he. I was. looked him up, and he appears to be. Yeah. Well, he's definitely going to be on the roster now. If he wasn't Who's before, the best free agent that's available. Like you know, Rex, walking Rex the Grossman or somebody. Honestly, I would rather yeah. have like a Rex, like somebody that I has. Rex is on Cleveland's roster. Is he? I thought they let him go. I don't think he's still in Cleveland. Yeah, I think they let him go right before the start of the season. And never resigned him. Like yeah. I would sign a veteran that's been around and it's has game experience. Jared get, Le, Jared Lorenzen was tweeting the Cardinals last night. Oh, yeah, him, that he's yeah, available. Him, yeah, that he'll, he'll work out for him. What's his nickname again? Well, there's oh, a billion of them. Fat man. <laughs> Pillsbury throw boy. That's the, my favorite. That's, that's the go-to. Hefty lefty. <laughs> yeah. Come I mean, on in, Chief. I see Chief Manger here, and he, you know he's got to come in and get in yeah. and get out. We have, got, lot, we have a lot of different jurisdictions he's going, got stuff going on here. Chief, Chief Manger, good morning. Yeah, doing well, thank you. Good morning. I think he likes to get in here before we get too hammered. I think that's well, probably he's got stuff to do. I mean, I mean he's busy. He's, he's got press it. conferences to hold, and he doesn't like hanging around unprofessional people None like of that the is true. That's true. I'm just an early riser. Yes. You are an early I'm, riser. I'm at my best right about now. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. It's been a busy week. I'm um, starting off with the plane crash and uh, disaster. Things haven't uh, slowed. Down. Actually, things have not slowed down since uh, since August when Ferguson erupted. I mean, we've Ryan. been just tremendously busy. Believe it or not, the it's, it, the activities there have just impacted every police. You feel department the ripple effect, right? Absolutely. Even here, absolutely. Yeah. Can't no, that be no, a positive though? You know, I'll tell you what the positive is. I think it can be a positive. Absolutely. Um, and, and, you know, we, uh, the police department does outreach um, all the time. I mean, we're always outreaching to different segments <clears throat> of the community. And you all know Montgomery County is one of the most diverse communities in, in, in the nation. And, you know, the, the community in, in the Langley Park area is different than in Damascus. And Poolsville is different from Silver Spring. So we've got a lot of, of, of uh, activity uh, in terms of our outreach. The positive is that... Um, after Ferguson, we have people contacting us, inviting us to their meetings and uh, to their events. We had um, we had a march uh, this past weekend that the NAACP put on. They invited us to not only uh, walk with them, but um, they invited uh, invited us to speak at their rally. Um, yeah, and and uh, you know, even the the president of the NAACP um, has has said that uh, you know there are issues everywhere uh, certainly you know we're always working on issues in, in Montgomery County but she said Montgomery County is not Ferguson mm-hmm. and, and and that's there are so there are some positives but uh, as i as i um, talk about i mean you you know you're only as good as your last contact with the public and we could have something happen tomorrow you know that we're on the defensive and and you know having to uh, answer to the public right so you know what yeah. somebody said yesterday when we called in and we just briefly I mean, we try to stay away from a lot of these topics just too much we try to entertain people we try not to get too too deep into the, into the weeds on some of these things but somebody said when we were talking about ferguson for a moment and just kind of how it re- <clears throat> relates to, to his community or whatever he said you know what we need we just need more guys on the street so we can have that interaction the way it used to be. Neighborhood and I said, policing is that, that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Guys on the street saying hello, getting to know the communities better. And right. I figure it's just a financial thing if that's not happening. I don't know. You tell me. Well, I mean, you're always struggling for resources. But I have to tell you that um, uh, in Montgomery County, the county exec has put um, about f- between 30 and 40 more cops on the street every year for the past three years. And where we've put them is where um, we've got the most crime in Montgomery County. And we've, I, I don't know that we've ever talked in, in years past, talked about where crime occurs in Montgomery County. But if you look at um, where crime occurs, we map it out all the time, do a lot of analysis um, all the time. Um, 
you you can see that you know there there's there's there are hot uh, spots. There are hot spots, and it's German Wheaton, town, Wheaton, Montgomery Wheaton. Village, Wheaton. Last night, uh, Silver Spring. Well, uh, listen, I wanted to talk about uh, that. that we, you know, we've had uh, a couple, uh, two or three sexual assaults down at Wheaton Plaza. Right. Um, right from the metro, the walkway over to the uh, to the uh, shopping center there. And we made an arrest last night. Saw oh, that. you did. Very yes, good. I did. That's yeah. awesome. Good news. And we think yeah. that's the same now guy was, doing all of them. Uh, well, we we think so. I mean, it was same same mo. So we're now. How know, was the? What was the the break in that? Was that a surveillance camera issue? Yeah, we we had we had two of those cases <clears throat> where um, women were walking in the area. Guy, you know, pulls a gun on them, abducts them, takes them to a secluded area, makes them perform a sex act, and and. Um, and then, uh, um, or People tries. Are insane. And, this is trifling. People and are just insane. So we we obviously had a lot of folks uh, in that area. Uh, folks, you know, we we. You're just kind of like waiting for a call, almost. Well, we, we had a lot of point. folks in that area, and we're certainly listening to to any uh, calls for suspicious characters or anything similar to this. And uh, we actually got a call, and um, we're able to be right in the area uh, immediately, and uh, we're able to make an apprehension and. Um, Guy had a gun on him. And now, coming many, out of J.C. Penney. Now, would he would he bring him into his car and then drive him somewhere else? No, so, it, this was just it like just happened right there. Area. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Yeah, uh, Chief Majors go- with us. I wanted to ask you about something that we kind of joked about yesterday, but it was a crime issue, and I believe that he went back to Gaithersburg. <clears throat> may have happened in Ashburn, but the piggyback bandit. What do you mm-hmm. do with guys like that? You know, first, it's not like a major offense. The guys massage a guy's shoulders, I guess, whatever. I mean, sneaking into locker rooms. It's a little creepy. And well, then I guess he jumps on guys' backs. And he also yeah. has issues. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, and, and listen, there's two two things there. One, um, so often we get calls for um, suspicious activity or for something that, you know, <clears throat> is, is a crime. But it turns out the person has mental health issues. Yeah, right. And uh, one of the um, – we – do a lot of training, spend a lot of time training our officers um, to identify folks that have uh, mental health issues so that we can give them the help they need. Obviously, you, you can't excuse and just ignore the fact if they commit a criminal offense, these are assaults. Um, but the other the other part of the piece of that is if you look at serious uh, sexual predators, um, you often see that they start off with, with sort of more minor crimes and they sort of, you know, progress to more serious crimes. So you never yeah. know if this guy, you know, he starts off doing this, and then what's the next thing he does? Yeah, exactly. And so uh, you, is, if you can intervene quickly, it's it's good. Now, regarding the plane crash in Gaithersburg, all right, and I saw you were all over the press conferences there. First of all, horrible story. Just uh, I feel Just ter- hor- yeah, I feel terrible. so bad for the father and the uh, the five year old girl that the other daughter. Uh, but is that um, is that neighborhood habitable now or? Can those can those people go back in their house? Obviously, the 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 house that was destroyed, you can't. But what about the other two houses? Um, two out of those three houses are uninhabitable. Okay. Um, the the first house that was hit, uh, which <clears throat> which started the plane plane sort of toppling. Right. Um, the second house just got. The, the, it looks like the the siding is sliced. Right. Um, so obviously something hit it as it came down, and then as as I'm sure you all have talked about, I mean the the uh, the third house. The wing broke off. The fuel just spl- and wing broke off. Broke into the house. I mean, went into the living room of the of the third house and just washed it with jet fuel. So wow. instantly, the, that place the went home up. was in flames. Mm. And and that's we, we speculate that um, the the uh, the mom and the two children were were upstairs. They were trapped upstairs. Couldn't there was do no anything. Get, no getting downstairs. The fire but, department got there pretty quick too. They were there very quickly. But this is. This isn't like, you know, where you get a, a, a fire that starts on the stove or an right. electrical fire where you have, you know, time for the smoke detectors to go off and you have some ability, you have, you know, a couple of minutes to get out. The no house shot. is ablaze in an this, instant. This, this, yeah. this, she, I don't believe she how had is, any chance. How is the dad doing? You know, um, as you might expect, I mean, he's just, uh, the family's just devastated. They're, we, they're, um, uh, we're in, in contact with the family and trying to provide them assistance. You know, there, there's, uh, uh, folks that started one of the, these GoFundMe accounts. Mm-hmm. It's got uh, it, it, well, last I heard it was well over $300,000 and, and what a, what a worthy cause. I mean, this, I, I can't imagine how this family's going to, going to go on Just, real, real quick. Um, I know we got to go to break. Um, did they ever give you the cause for the accident? Was it the birds that got into the engines, or was it some pilot error? Was it NTSB is sort of um, bringing out sort of piecemeal a lot of their investigation, and um, they they've determined initially that uh, it was not there was, it was no not birds the birds in the engine. Okay, so um, I 
you know, this guy crashed before, and and um, uh, I, I know you got to go to break. I can talk a little bit about more with the. You NTSB. want to do it when we come back? Yeah, yeah. we can. Because I, I have more questions you. too. Because I want to ask you more about those hot spots. I kind of interrupted you there. I want to yeah. get you to list some of those. All right, we got Chief Major here. We've got uh, three or four other policemen here from Prince George's County. Correct. We've got rap here. We've got everybody. It's a holiday <laughs> drinking show. Don't go anywhere.